Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, fellow delegates, and friends. It's my pleasure to be here today to show our paper. I'm Zhongsen Lui from Henan University, Kaifeng, China. The paper title is A Two-Step Approach for Plus RFI Detection in SARDIT. We will introduce our paper from five parts. The existence of plus radio frequency interference severely affects the signal processing and image interpretation of synthetic aperture radar, which cannot be ignored. PRFI, a common form of radio frequency interference, belongs to direct wave signal, and it mainly originates from other radio equipment whose working frequency overlaps with synthetic aperture radar. The PRFI appear as artifacts on the SAR image, severely restricting the imaging quality and affecting the subsequent processing of image interpretation. Generally, PRFI has three characteristics. First, due to the source of PRFI transmits plus signal periodically, which means that the received PRFI may show near practical features on the SAR echo date. Second, due to the one-way propagation path, the signal strength of PRFI is usually powerful in contrast with the star signal. Third, due to the transmitting mechanism of the PLUS system, the PRFI receiving duration is often shorter than that with star signal. In the past few decades, numerous PRFI detection methods have been proposed. However, most of them can only detect the occurrence of PRFI and cannot obtain the position information of PRFI. For some time doing PRFI mitigation methods, they need to obtain position information of PRFI accurately. Otherwise, the performance of mitigation will be severely limited. In our paper, aiming at the detection and the location of PRFI, a novel detector which is based on a two-step process is proposed. Experimental results based on simulated and mirrored airborne SAR data have been conducted. The main system parameters of the simulation are summarized in table. In the simulation, PRFI with a line frequency modulation form is assumed. The detection accuracy is employed to evaluate the, the detection performance. The red figure shows the detection performance and the different SINRs. It can be found that the DA of the proposed detector is generally higher than that of TDD. Experimental results based on airband airborne subject are shown. In the experiment, the proposed detector and the TDD are employed to detect PRFI, and the TNF method is employed to mitigate PRFI. As can be seen in Figure B, a number of PRFI which had in the echoes of strong scatter are missed by the TDD. As can be seen in Figure C, the detection performance of the proposed detector is well. Figure D, E, and F show the imaging results with and without the processing of PRFI mitigation. As can be seen in Figure E and D. The detectors directly affect the performance of PRFI mitigation to varying degrees, and the mitigation performance based on the proposed detector is better. In this paper, the characteristics of PRFI in both time and transforming domain were analyzed. A novel detector, which has the capability of detecting and locating PRFI, was proposed. Experimental results, which are based on the simulated and measured SAR date, validate the performance of the proposed detector. Thank you for your listening.